what is up YouTube and welcome to today's video so today just a quick life update today um, yeah some big big news big event I suppose you could say on uh, Thursday at 1 p.m. I quit my job so it'd been uh, sort of ongoing for a while I wanted to quit my job for so long and uh, for basically from April the 20th uh, when all the corona stuff kicked off in Japan uh, they basically they cut the working hours at work or some people were just told to work from home so I did that for a while and uh, then basically it became impossible to work from home because you know if you're doing a car sales business you need to go to customers places you need to go to the the register like the vehicle registry office there's all sorts of things you need to do that you just cannot do from home and basically I got sick of it anyway I've been sick of the job for a hell of a long time so uh, I basically I've been staying at home doing nothing really and uh, claiming for like two-thirds of my salary on uh, health insurance like basically saying that I was um, I wasn't fit for work basically I was saying so yeah I've been doing that since the end of April and work had basically just you know they were totally pissed off with that like they they sort of knew that I was kind of pulling their leg kind of thing so um, they would basically been really kind of forceful in the way that they handle me though and so me and my wife were just like yo fuck these guys thanks a lot you shit so even though there was nothing really wrong with me we basically just uh, kept going to the doctors and saying that I was like mentally unwell and stuff because of the way they handled the situation like um, the company was basically like harassing me almost like I'd given them a letter from a doctor saying that I'd got um, depression and yet they were still calling me every day saying you need to come to work you need to come to work we've got too much to do and I was like you know like if I really did have depression then can you imagine um, what that would do to someone if they had like work related depression and then the boss is calling you up and saying listen you fucker get your ass to work we're busy and it's your fault like you know that would just make it worse wouldn't it and so me and my wife were just like man this company sucks ball like the fact that they would treat you like that and that they don't give a shit that you're unwell and we just got the asshole with them but eventually the harassment got so bad like they were just like just quit just quit and I wasn't gonna I was just gonna keep dragging it out a, a bit to kind of teach them a lesson but I actually found out that I would get more money if I quit <laughs> <laughs> so but anyway forget that I'm not going to be a benefits fraudster but anyway so I went to work at 1 p.m. on Thursday and handed in my notice check out the tits on there and then when I was leaving I was like well I've got nothing else to do today still got a long time to go before I have to pick up my daughter so I was reading my old text messages and I got a message from an ex-girlfriend of mine saying there's a bike shop that's hiring why don't you go for an interview so I decided I would just go and check out this bike shop and see what it's like so I wasn't actually planning on going for an interview I was like in my jeans and my bike jacket and stuff so I wasn't exactly interview ready but uh, I had my resume with me because in my uh, bag that I took with my resignation letter in I had all my important documents and uh, my stamps and stuff like that so I thought well, I'll just go and look at the bike shop and see what kind of vibes I get from it like if, if they're a bunch of dicks then obviously I'm not going to apply but if they're a really cool place cool shop I thought oh, I'll, I'll just mention to them by the way I'm looking for work so that's what I did basically I went there uh, talked to the mechanics downstairs for about 20 minutes and then I was like actually yep yeah, I like this place so I said to them yeah you know I'm actually looking for a job and the mechanic goes wait there and I'm gonna go and get the boss so he called the boss down the boss like talked to me downstairs for about a minute and then I think we basically I, I, I liked him straight away and I guess he liked me straight away and he goes come upstairs let's go and have a proper chat so we went up to his office talked for about an hour and about halfway through the conversation all of a sudden he just broke into English and I was like oh you, you speak English oh teriyaki boys fast and furious baby so yeah he goes yeah I speak English I lived in Australia for uh, um, eight years and he goes in fact I even started this business in Australia on the Gold Coast and then I moved back to Japan and la 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 I was like oh no way that's awesome 
and uh, basically we we chatted and we had a lot of um, stuff in common a lot of weird coincidences like he knew some of the people that I'd worked for in the past and he's into classic cars as well and he's got a Ferrari and like you know he's just a really really cool guy and uh, yeah basically after that conversation finished we went downstairs again and then he got sort of interrupted by a customer so I was just hanging around outside looking at the bikes and stuff and then he goes to me so um, yeah you're welcome I was like what, what do you mean you're welcome he goes yeah if you want a job then yeah you're welcome to join so like, oh no way I was like do I quit my job like two hours ago and already I've got a new job and he goes yeah why not and uh, basically he just said to me well go home and think about it discuss it with your wife and stuff and uh, just get back to me and he goes um, you don't even need to like call me or anything I've just I've got a uh, whatsapp so you can just send me a message and if you've got any questions I'll answer it on there I was like, bloody hell this is a progressive <laughs> boss so yeah so right now the uh, trouble is the working hours are 10 till 7 and no weekends off so I'm not basically I'm not I've not said yes yet because uh, my daughter's still only four so she goes to nursery so I could take her to nursery in the mornings but I wouldn't be able to pick her up in the evenings and also my wife uh, works weekends sometimes works nights sometimes so yeah the job really wouldn't work basically unless we got some hired help but I really don't want don't want to pay someone to look after my own kids so yeah I'm sort of thinking that through at the minute on whether I can ask them maybe if I can do it as a part-time position rather than a full-time something like that but uh, the, the, com the job itself would be amazing and the, the content I would get for this channel would be so good it's uh, basically a, a classic bike shop they only sell bikes from the 70s and uh, the most the most popular bike is the Kawasaki Z1 what they do is they import bikes from the States and from Australia and uh, they basically just restore them and so my job would be uh, the bikes that arrive in containers just get them out check them over make sure the engine runs properly like compression check them stuff like that if the engine's okay then no overhaul no rebuild on the engine but basically everything else on the bike has to be restored and put to original factory condition so basically once the engine's confirmed get rid get the engine out get the swing arm off get everything off the bike basically till it's a bare frame then get it painted then everything else rebuild the forks rebuild the calipers rebuild the master cylinders all that sort of stuff and get everything looking in perfect condition so it looks like it's just come out of the the showroom from 1970 so that's basically what they do it's all um, original condition bikes so yeah basically i'll just be a mechanic doing re restorations and um yeah I, the, the bikes are ridiculously expensive but they said they're so busy they don't even want um to, to promote the business anymore I said to them oh, I can do your YouTube videos I can run your Instagram I can run your Facebook and they were like yeah that's great but no thanks we're already too busy so yeah I don't think I'd have any worries about getting paid or anything like that so I will uh, hopefully be able to discuss this with my wife because she's never bloody at home because she's always working so I'll see what she's got to say about it but I think the only way it could work really is if I could do it part-time or instead of finishing at 7 p.m. they'd let me finish at 6 p.m. so I could pick up my daughter but yeah I'm not really sure but I'm, I'm totally stoked about the job and I really want to do it so fingers crossed all right guys I'll see you in the next video oh yeah and by the way next video I'm doing a special on can you make an epic motorcycle video with used hundred dollar cameras so stay tuned for that that'll be coming this week all right guys bye bye